we would, we would like to ask you to please stand and welcome the class of 2021. Good evening, and welcome to Tijuana's 2021 Commencement Ceremony. My name is Brian Baker, and I am the assistant principal whose team has had the distinct honor and privilege to work with this amazing group of students. On behalf of Tijuana High School, we would like to thank all of the guests, family, friends, and colleagues who are in attendance today to celebrate the accomplishment of the awesome individuals seated before us. This past year has presented many challenges. However, the students seated before us have risen to the occasion. Their hard work and perseverance have paid off, and today we are proud to say that they become graduates of Chiawana. Even though they are not able to be in attendance tonight, we are honored to have pomp and circumstance performed by our very own Chiawana Wind Ensemble. In addition, the national anthem is performed tonight by the Chiawana Chamber Choir. At this time, please rise and gentlemen, remove your caps for the national anthem.
Thank you. At this time, we'd like to recognize and thank our school board members and superintendent. We acknowledge the Pasco School Board of Directors who due to limited space on the stage are represented by the following individuals. When I say your name, please stand. We ask that you all please hold your applause until all have been announced. School Board President, Ms. Amy Phillips. School Board Vice President, Mr. Scott Lehrman. School Board Member, Mrs. Sherry Lankin. And our very own Student Board Representative and 2021 graduate, Ms. Brisa Hernandez. And last but not least, Superintendent of the Pasco School District, Mrs. Michelle Whitney. So graduates, I've been in education for 28 years, and in my professional career, I've never had a greater honor than to work with you, the Chiawana class of 2021. I am speaking for your Bewing student support team when I say that we are so proud of you, what you have accomplished as Chiawana Riverhawks. Earlier this week, Mr. Walwork asked if I'd like to offer some parting words to our graduates about life after high school. When Mr. Walwick asked me to speak, I told him, I usually don't give advice, but when I do, it's at a graduation ceremony. So that request, I can only say that most of the time I live my life based on the advice of a very famous doctor. I will now pass on his words of wisdom to you, class of 2021. The last time I went in for a checkup, he told me this, and I quote, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the person who will decide where to go. Class of 2021, everybody here in attendance is anxious to see where you will choose to go and what you will choose to do in life. Graduates, I encourage you to take to heart the, act, the words of actor James Carey who said, you can fail at what you don't want so you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. I encourage each of you to do just that. Chase what you love. Do it with the respect, responsibility, pride, grit, and focus on relationships that has defined your high school experience. If you do that, you will be wildly successful, and most importantly, make yourself proud. So to you, CHS class of 2021, go forth and conquer. Do what you love, and remember to always see blue in all you do. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce senior class co-presidents Cameron Breyer and Linda Brisa Hernandez. Brisa attended Maya Angelo and Ruth Livingston Elementary Schools and McLaughlin Middle School. She plans to attend UC Berkeley to major in political science and minor in education. Cameron attended Edwin Markham and Ruth Livingston Elementary Schools and McLaughlin Middle School. He plans on attending the United States Air Force Academy and major in biochemistry. I'd like to start my welcome off with a thank you. In one of the most unique years of public education that this world has ever seen, we are here because of the tremendous support from family, friends, school board members, and staff that have advocated for our fellow Chiawana graduates. Everyone that is here tonight has contributed to the celebration of a milestone. With motivation, capacity, and opportunity, we stand before you today, ready to kick off the rest of our lives. These past four years, we have learned what it means to be resilient, and that you have a choice in life to face adversity, or run from it. With every burden, triumph, challenge, and global pandemic, you have chosen to persevere. Although our journeys are different, we are all on the search for our purpose. Let's not dwell on the past of what if, but instead wake up in the present, ready to cherish every last moment we have with building relationships that will make us appreciate this walk of life. After all, we only have one.
Can we get another round of applause for Brisa Hernandez? <clears throat> now, I was told I only have 60 seconds for this speech, so I'm going to make it fast. Looking back at this year of memories, one thing that has become evident is the value of time. All so often we live our lives like there is a guarantee tomorrow. However, I would argue that we learned very quickly as a class of 2021 that this simply isn't true. In life, the greatest equalizer is time. It doesn't discriminate based on income, class, or gender, and it certainly doesn't hold grudges like our little siblings. Instead, from the moment we were born, our internal clocks began ticking, and in that time, you have become the beautiful person that you are today. Looking back at these last four years, it is evident that our time ticks a lot faster than we would originally imagine. So as my 60 seconds come to an end, I'd like to challenge each and every one of you to live today like the first day of the rest of your life. This week, like the first week of the rest of your life. This month, like the first month of your rest of your life. And this year, like the first year of the rest of your life. But most importantly, I would challenge you to live the next 60 seconds like the first 60 seconds of the rest of your life. Thank you so much. My name is Marlene Diaz and I'm the ASB president. I would like to introduce to you the principal of Chihuahua High School. Mr. John Walwork has a bachelor's degree from Brigham Young University of Hawaii in secondary education, history, and Spanish. He also has a master's degree in educational administration from Heritage University. Please welcome Mr. John Walwork. All right, let me, uh, let me find my speech here somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere here. Okay, yeah, here it is, here it is, okay. My wife and four children moved to Pasco about 13 years ago. And after administrative stops at Pasco High School and McLaughlin Middle School and adding two additional children to our family and eight years as Chihuahua's principal, we've decided to move out of the area and closer to our older children and other family members in Utah. As I've contemplated this moment, my last Chihuahua graduation speech, two words have been rampant in my mind and in my heart. Thank you. Thank you to a very supportive Superintendent Whitney, district staff, and school board members. Thank you to awesome colleagues and the very best staff that a principal could ask for. Thank you to a wonderful, proud community that bleed purple and sea blue. Gracias a una maravillosa y orgullosa comunidad que les corre el morado por las venas y también ven azul. Thank you to these amazing and inspiring students and thousands of other students who have been blessed to cross paths with. Since entering the education field 22 years ago, the only thing I've ever wanted is to make a difference in other people's lives. Being a positive influence and making a positive impact in the lives of young people is what we strive for as educators. I don't know if I've done that, any of that, but I do know this, that you all have made a positive impact and have been a positive influence in my life. I have learned things in these past 13 years that have made me not only a better educator, but a better person. And for that, I close with and end with those two same words. Thank you. Our next valedictorian is Connor Anderson. Connor was homeschooled during his elementary and middle school years. His plan is to attend the University of Utah in order to receive a Bachelor of Science of Games. Hello, my name is Connor Anderson and I do not have a lot of time, so I'll get right down to it. Being able to give this speech is a great honor, 
But to be honest, being a valedictorian is not the most important thing in the world. I'm not going to stand here and lecture about the normal things, such as how you can do anything if only you work hard enough, because unfortunately, that is not really how life works. No, the message I'm going to try to convey in only a minute and a half is that we all need to pick our priorities. Instead of clawing our way into being the smartest, strongest, or most popular, how about we instead go for kindest, most patient, or you know, maybe just happiest? Life isn't about checking the boxes or achieving the most like some sort of video game. Life is about becoming the best version of ourselves, and we need other people in order to accomplish that. If you help them, more often than not, they'll return the favor. However, if you step on others, you'll soon find yourself on the top of a mountain of people, none you can consider a friend. So please, decide what's important and bring someone along the way. Finally, if you only remember one thing from my brief speech, it is that it is your decision on if you reach the end of your life bitter or better. Thank you, family, friends, parents, teachers. Thank you. I'm now proud to introduce to you valedictorian Bryant Hales. Bryant had attended McGee, Livingston, and Basin City Elementary Schools and McLaughlin Middle School. His plan is to attend BYU-Idaho to study mechanical engineering. Bryant. <clears throat> One of America's founding fathers, Thomas Paine, once wrote, what we obtain too cheap, we esteem too lightly. It is dearness only that gives everything its value. To me, it seemed only natural that he would have something good to say about suffering. After all, his last name is Paine. But the more I've thought about it, the more I've realized he's absolutely right. Take some time to think back over the last four years and the sacrifices to be, you've made to be sitting here right now. Remember the hundreds, perhaps thousands, of hours you've spent on schoolwork. Recall the grind it out, throw it up sports practices you've been through and the commitment you've shown to leadership, clubs, or extracurricular activities that you have been a part of. How dear have you made the past four years for yourself? As we finish this chapter of our lives, let's think of it dearly. Don't forget the experiences you've had in the halls of Chiawana High School. Try to remember the lessons you've learned about hard work, friendship, and dedication. I'd like to express my personal gratitude to all the teachers, coaches, mentors, and friends who have made the last four years dear to me. I hope they have been dear for all of you as well. Never stop seeing blue in all you do. Our real lives are just beginning and our opportunities are endless. So let's not keep them waiting. Go River Hawks. I am now happy to introduce Chiawana Senior Class Counselor, Mrs. Connie Wallace, for the presentation of Honor Awards. It is now time to recognize individual achievements for the class of 2021. Graduates are recognized with colored cords for their outstanding academic and extracurricular achievements. Students wearing cords, please stand now and be recognized. This outstanding class of 2021 has been awarded over $5.2 million in scholarships to be used towards their post high school plan. Please help us congratulate all of them. Good job, students. Go ahead and take a seat. I would like to introduce valedictorian Audra Totten. Audra attended Kings Point Elementary School, Ruth Livingston Elementary School, and McLaughlin Middle School. Audra has also attended Washington State University Tri-Cities as a Running Start student for the past two years. She will continue on at WSU in the fall, where she will major in Nuclear Engineering and Materials Science and minor in History.
In a normal year, I would have begun this speech by asking you to turn to the fellow graduate next to you and give them a high five. However, because of social distancing, instead, I will ask you to give yourselves a high five in recognition of your achievements gained through perseverance, strength, and hard work. In the face of extreme adversity, change, and unprecedented situations, our class embraced the challenge and overcame it spectacularly. While attending Zoom classes in our PJs was nice, the pandemic also left many in our class with extra responsibilities outside of school, which makes our success all the sweeter. Everyone here today has been impacted by COVID-19, and the fact that you have made it here to graduation shows that you have triumphed over the challenges the universe has thrown at you. This situation has been taxing on all of us, but we have become so much stronger for it, and our class will undoubtedly go on to achieve great things. Next, I need to give a huge thank you to my family, because if it wasn't for you, I would not have been able to maintain my focus on achieving my dreams. I would also like to thank Mrs. Vicki Hyde and Ms. Sarah Hyde for your guidance during my time in speech and debate. Your constant pushing for me to step out of my comfort zone and improve myself has made me into the person I am today. And for that, I am so grateful. Finally, I would like to thank Mrs. Lauren Edmondson for allowing me to continue to pursue my passion for music throughout high school, especially when running start would have otherwise interfered. Lastly, the most important thing I have learned from my time in high school is that achieving success in school and life requires so much more than just smarts or talent. What is so much more important is motivation, grit, and the determination to fulfill your potential and build the future you want to see for yourself. Thank you. My name is Julia Henry and I'm the ASB Vice President. I'm honored to introduce Pasco School District Superintendent, Mrs. Michelle Whitney. Mrs. Whitney has degrees from Columbia Basin College and Washington State University. This is Mrs. Whitney's fifth year as Superintendent of the Pasco School District. Honored members of the School Board of Directors, I confirm that the students seated before you have met all of the graduation requirements, standards, and policies as set forth by the Pasco School District Board of Directors and the State of Washington. It is my great honor and pleasure to present to you for graduation the 11th graduating class of Chihuahua High School, class of 2021. Hi, my name is Jose Perez, and I'm the senior class treasurer. I am proud to introduce two staff members that were voted on by the senior class to read the class role. Student Achievement Specialist Blanca Severa and English teacher, and avid teacher, Guy Smirthwaite. Megan Matson, Brisa Hernandez, Rebecca Hartlin, Cameron Breyer, Julia Henry, Caden Davis, Riker Butters, Rebecca Isabel Torres, Caleb Levitt, Jose Perez, Emily Lopez. Marlene Diaz. Annalicia Bennett. Myra Claro Rincon. Nailea Andrade. Isabel Garcia. Natalie Pensavon. Ariana Parra. Ivan Covenant. Destiny Rodriguez. Bridget Hinnett. Margarita Deek. 
Abigail Winston. Lillian Kofi. Rafael Ramirez. Brenda Andreas Cruz. Leslie Contreras. Cueto. Ernesto Sierra III. Dulce Sanchez Robledo. Juan Avalos. Tony Fon. Ali Alabadi. Juan Perez. Angel Gonzalez. Nathan Powell. Peja Rodriguez. Damian Hernandez Torres. Brody Hicks. Luis Flores Dominguez. Cassidy Dawson. Skylar Kelly. Cameron Culp. Elizabeth Diaz. Dylan Whittington. Snejana Shapovo. Taro Mena. Yesenia Farias Rodriguez. Jasmine Samudio. Nady Cervantes Herit. Heredia. <laughs> Lisbeth Ortiz Alcaraz. Miguel Sandoval. Jose Garcia Lara. Shelby Jackson. Joanna Cruz. Wesley Harmon. Liliana Silva. Duncan Feldman. Karina Ruiz. Benjamin Kilgore. Carson Fegman. Heidi Flores Salazar. Caitlin Orchard. Marcos Ramirez. Allison Gutierrez. Carlos Portillo. Yamir Arroyos Diaz. Fabiola Fernandez. Eric Ramirez. Eraku. Brayden Doty. Tatraso. Cassidy Rowe. Madison Warby. Eva Romero. James Bernhard. Isabel Sandoval. Connor Hafer. Emily Diaz. Braden Pluff. Hannah Boatwright. Kiara McDaniels. Leah Nastri. Abigail Hickman. Haley Nelson. Hannah Ramos. Zoe Thomas. Olivia Selresig. Riley Erbach. Dylan Hernandez. Jaylene Mayin. Alexi Loading. Joel Sanchez Montes. Noe Gonzalez. Jasmine Herrera. Anna Babalau. Brianna Vargas Garcia. Yaneli Barrientos Felix. Rebecca Figueroa.
Yaselin Bergara Ruiz. Fernando Soto. Karen Mejia Ruiz. Jessica Meineke. Pepe Merlane. Macy Bissell. Devin Villalobos. Emily Biglin. Adriana Sital. Trinity St. Hilaire. Elvin Vasquez Batista. Michaela Hall. Manuel Ruiz. Henry Lopez Perez. Diego Monzo. Kaya Walter Johnson. Bird. Tia Thorne. Kendall Pfeiffer. Antonio Rio. McKenna, McKenna Schlein. Wilbur Virgen Estrada. Mark Lapointe. Christian Horta. Austin Cooster. Andy Garcia. Alyssa Dickinson. Adrian Camacho. Samantha Hart. Andrew Chavarria. Victoria Kasparic. Aldo Magallon Ventura. Allison Petty. Juan Pantaleon. Nick Zorns. Osvaldo Garcia. Hunter Hatch. Anthony Garcia Perez. Devin Perdue. Anderson Briones Tapia. Aurora Bulware. Alonso Garcia Lopez. Gianna Alward. Oscar Artiaga. Josh Delamora Cosio. Karim Nikachuk. Vladislav Ursul. Matthew Kakucho. Baldemar Zuniga. Spencer Martin. Emily Valladeras. Gabriel Allen. Isamar Chavez Gasca. Rocky Rainbold. Katie Gonzalez Bautista. Mayreline Bravo Ramirez. Monica Lopez. Jacqueline Brambria Contreras. Noemi Waye. Avery Denhoub. Ashley Espinosa. Angela Bracamontes. Jocelyn Madrigal Cervantes. Lisbeth Chavez. Alexandra Reyes Herrera. Marisa Loera. Makai Dakanai. <laughs> Stephanie Valle de Leon. Camilo Cardenas. Selena Gutierrez. Brianna de la Torre Gomez. Sergio Mendez Morales. Catherine Navarrete. Andres Garcia. Osvaldo Farias Garcia. Julian Madrigal Mendoza. Rosaura Zuniga. Jessica Sanchez. Jasper Davis. Deandra Sutton. 
Rashawn Wynn. Madeline Aguirre. Ethan Cuevas. Rogelio Arroyas. Genesis Garcia Lasso. Fidel Rangel Betancourt. Roxana Salazar. Christian Guzar. Sydney Gonzalez. Clara Cuavos Barajas. Esther Aguilar. Esteban Sanchez Villanueva. Sarah Aguilar. Diana Leon. Fatima Angon Del Villar. Rachel Mendoza. Carla Martinez Murillo. Kimberly Perez. Luz Brindas. Jimmy Gonzalez. Risa Aguilar. Joanna Mosqueda. Jennifer Mosqueda Vega. Luz Grimaldi. Tanya Ruiz Ruelas Cervantes. Leonel Guzman. Dylan Breer. <laughs> Mackenzie Jutz. Jaime Ayala. <laughs> Serena Stafford. <laughs> Josue Melina. <laughs> Haley Hatinga. Jade Jutz. Jasmine Postillon. Jaden Qualley. <laughs> Charles Mendoza. Lexi Cruz. <laughs> Isai Montoya. Macy Lynch. Jaslyn Harshman. Bryant Hales. Adia Pincheria. Audra Totten. Katie Cammers. Connor Anderson. Brandon Luciano. Graduates, please rise. Honored members of the school board, Superintendent Whitney, Chiwana staff, members of the community, and Riverhawk families, I'm happy to introduce to you the class of 2021. Graduates, as a symbol of your accomplishment, please move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations. Marshals, if you can get that first and last row ready. Families, audience members, please remain seated while students recess up and out the stadium. Once the final participant reaches the top of the stairs, you are welcome to meet your student outside the stadium. I want you to enjoy all your graduation celebrations this weekend. Thank you for coming. Congratulations, DJ Garza. Let's go, celebrate.
Let's celebrate.